Hey, it's your boy Crypto Blood. Welcome to a sponsored interview with Mark Space. Uh, it's with great guys. I met uh, Oleg and Dennis, co founders of Mark Space. And this, what, what realm of industry they're in is what we call VR or virtual reality or AR, augmented reality. And hopefully I'll get a chance to have them explain the difference between the two and there are some other um, type of virtual reality uh, spaces that we're starting to see pop up in this industry industry i really like this concept i like this industry i believe it's, it's really going to be the future if any of you follow uh gary v um, i love his videos very inspirational type of guy he's really big on vr being a major major mega mega hit um, as far as popularity and usage to end users and b2b um, b2b applications as well um, in the near future in the next five to ten years if gary v really sees as being something that will be a huge 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 space so i'm excited when they came you know when they contacted me i was like oh yeah definitely want to look into this uh, a bit more so uh, without further ado let's talk to Oleg and Dennis all right ladies and gents it's your boy crypto blood and I am here with the co-founders of mark space Oleg and Dennis thanks guys for joining today hi everyone. hi hi crypto blood hi everyone <laughs> how you guys doing over there in Russia yeah. keeping warm uh, yeah quite warm Plus okay five. oh okay <laughs> Dubai, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Contrasting. All right. Cool. Cool, man. So, uh, you guys reached out to me um, maybe last week, and I and you know I went and researched your your company, looked at the website. Actually, m me and myself and my wife actually looked at the site together, and uh, thought it was very uh, very interesting. And I don't know if you guys know of a YouTube. Uh, he's kind of a YouTube sensation. His name is Gary V. He talks about VR and augmented reality being the next move, the next kind of leap in technology and in consumer, um, you know, like interface in technology and consumers kind of interacting with that. So um, I'm, I'm very excited to, to talk to you guys about about mark space and um if you would just kind of tell me got tell me about you know yourselves you know like how did you get into cryptocurrencies and you know a little bit about your background yeah i can start about our team about us so uh we are you know amicable team uh with more than 15 years experience in uh, it development uh such areas like e-commerce you know Mm -hmm. uh, high loaded databases and uh, um, also 3D web design. Okay. Uh, uh, me, before I was also in another company, it's an IT development company also, we made uh, databases. I like have a great experience in digital marketing also. Maybe he'll tell you later more or now, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, and uh, you know, about the idea of Mark Space. Uh, it, it was about seven years ago we realized that uh, oh my god I can start one more time if you want no go ahead no yeah go ahead go ahead yeah so because the telephone interrupted me so it was seven years ago we understand and uh, understood and realized that uh, VR virtual reality AR augmented reality and MR mixed reality is a is a future, is a next level, next step, next generation of internet and a new way of uh, communication between the people, between the companies. And uh, we started to collect, to collect anything, I mean, anything we need. So we started to collect technologies, uh, high skilled people for our team, which uh, have uh, skills in uh, VR and, and in AR. And three years ago, we closed all our projects and uh, concentrated on the mark that space platform okay yeah yeah, yeah. just to inter interrupt you for my yeah. viewers uh many may know what of course vr is right but explain to the viewers what augmented reality and mixed reality is 
ah, so they understand. So VR is, uh, for example, you know, PlayStation VR or Oculus. So you wear something like uh, the glasses or headset, gear, and anything you watch is inside the glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you consume the data, consume uh, the virtual world. Everything is virtual one. So uh, this is virtual reality. So games, you know, a lot of the games. And uh, so nothing real inside, I mean. Uh, augmented reality is a very quite simple example is uh, Pokemon Go. Everybody knows, I guess. So you pick up your phone mm -hmm. and uh, you use the camera and something appears on the screen. I mean, right. so it, something virtual is added extra to real world. And you see it mixed on the on the screen, on the phone, on the tablet, or something like that. Also, it can be glasses if they can collect the data uh, from real world. Right. Like Microsoft HoloLens has. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, right. Okay. And mixed reality is uh, when uh, the main stage of view is real world, mm -hmm. but uh, you can see by your eyes not using any special devices, something virtual. I mean, holograms, for example. Okay, gotcha. Uh, or 3D objects. We talk about the future of technology. We talk yeah. about the lenses which you can put in your eyes and uh, see much more uh, than uh, just with your eyes. Yeah, uh, quite a simple example of mixed reality is the most famous uh, Japanese uh, pop star, mm -hmm. Asen Miko. She's a uh, hologram. Mm -hmm. But audience, uh, you know, millions of people. And we had, uh, we also had Tupac <laughs> as a as a hologram a couple of years ago at, at Coachella. Tupac, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I saw this it was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell me, and tell me, guys. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, and also Michael Jackson. I think Michael so. <laughs> Michael Jackson as well. Can't forget but, MJ. Yeah, but uh, what we have now, what we know about VR and augmented reality now. We know that it's rather complicated technology, rather expensive technology uh, to produce the content and also to consume the content. I mean that if you want to create something in 3D, in VR, uh, you need to ask some s special company, some you know clever guys to program for years, <laughs> spend a lot of money. And for example, if you want to launch uh, your, your virtual shop, for mm -hmm. example, or something like that. You can do. You cannot do it by yourself. Right. Uh, but uh, and also, if you need uh, to consume the virtual reality content, you need to buy some special glasses like Oculus, uh, HTC Vive, or cardboard. Uh, but we understand that it's not. It's it's not the way how it must be. So we, we trust. It's not forced. It's not drives the technology through. I mean, uh, and reduce the, and reduce the audience. Yeah, because now uh, what all uh, what all companies uh, propose to us? First of all, you need to buy the powerful computer. Mm -hmm. After that, you need to buy uh, VR glasses. And right. after that, people told you <laughs> buy again, buy the video games, buy the content, right. buy, buy, buy. You need to spend, spend, spend. Right. So that, there, there's a high barrier to entry for your your end user, which. Also Producers and consumers also. Yeah, and right. uh, they don't pro uh, provide any opportunity to earn money from that, uh, mm -hmm. from that equipment, from that uh, virtual glasses. And uh, this situation must be changed, and we try to change it mm -hmm. because we uh, we start to develop on our idea uh, with one strong idea uh, <laughs> uh, about the retirement factor then you no need to additional advertise your audience to return them back in the project. Right. Uh, we build our ecosystem uh, uh, like that. If you are a user, you can uh, represent yourself in a 3D way uh, compatible with VR, first of all, with your own uh, personal uh, VR space. But then uh, you can find out that you can find a job in that project because there is a lot of uh, virtual shops and virtual office uh, where you can work like employee. You can consult the client, show them clothes or cars, or you can uh, uh, 
you can hold the meetings, uh, you can uh, show the presentations and videos of your company, you can even make negotiations and sign the contracts there. So you can uh, get salary in tokens and also you can spend it inside the system by, uh, by, the, by uh, physical goods and services as well as the virtual ones and uh, you can communicate with the people, you can participate in communities. And uh, if uh, we talk about the communities, uh, there is a huge possibilities for them to earn money too. Because uh, if you uh, build a big community, you're already interested to such brands, Coca-Cola and etc. Uh, and uh, we as a platform attract that brands for uh, participating in our uh, internal advertising network. And uh, we share this opportunity with the communities. They can choose the place in their, their space, their way, uh, their, uh, they want to show ads. For instance, uh, that kind of uh, banner or video screen. We connect them to internal advertising network. And after that, they start earn money. Uh, and because of the principles of DAO, they can share it in equal parts between participants of the community. And everybody uh, earn money there. And they can collect the budget and spend on some great ideas they have. I mean, they can build the cyber team, send them to competition and win the prizes, millions. Or they can uh, invest in some uh, young scientist who is some friend of theirs and uh, mm, help him to make a breakthrough in the science and uh, their names names of that community will be recorded in the history yeah right no one, that... more, one more idea is that it's very simple and very easy to create something without platform i mean you don't need to know to know how to code how to create virtual spaces so we have three ways how to create something in vr and 3d with our platform the first one you just use our constructor very simple so you just need the browser that's it okay uh, and you use our constructor there are uh, a lot of libraries with materials with the furniture with special equipment which can uh which can be linked with the content uh external content like youtube like instagram or something like that and uh, so you don't need to know how to do these special things uh, second one is you just pick the 360 degree camera, making the panorama and upload it on the, our platform. And after that, you can also add special objects, add data, uh, video, photo, files, text. And uh, also because it's HTML5, uh, you can uh, open the code and I implement something special if you need something special i mean if you don't know, yeah so yeah. That, that was one of my questions as far as yeah. the kind of the architecture high level i know i don't we don't want to get into your secret sauce per se but um are, so you are using html and, and and web webgl for sure uh webgl uh web vr also html5 uh it, css uh, mm -hmm free and uh, JavaScript. Also, uh, there is a lot of uh, low-level uh, languages which we use for, mm. for, core, for core of uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. And, and, I, I, and I would assume those lower lang level languages uh, is kind of your security level uh, of layer as well? Yes, the, 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 this language is we use for our uh, especially for uh, authentic uh, authentication and uh, for encrypting. Okay. And uh, to understand uh, generally the architecture of the mark space, so you need to understand that it is not a so it's a, a complete system, but it's open system. I mean that uh, you don't need to go to the special website like we have mark that space. This is the main domain of the project. You don't need to go there and uh, fill the registration form and uh, come into the platform. What you need, yeah, you know, using the search engine, you can do that, but it's not necessary. If uh, you are a business and you create your virtual office or virtual shop, you register your own domain and uh, gotcha. you provide it to your clients, and they go directly to you directly you know so uh for example uh if you are nike you register nike 3d or nike vr.com 
and uh, your customers, your clients, they come to NikeVR.com and they are in. They don't need to be registered in the system and they even don't know the, uh, that they now are in a big universe. But if they click on the door and go out from the Nike, they will realize and understand that uh, there is a big world and a lot of shops, a lot of every, you know things, and they can discover, can surf it. You know, so it's like an internet. So the structure is like internet. There are a lot of domains, a lot of websites in 3D, which are linked with our platform, and the people can they can surf. But inside the platform, you have that opportunity of synergy. Then uh, your audience mi mixed with the audience of uh, other brands. Mm -hmm. who's invite them in the project and uh, the people who came to see communities also see uh, the e-commerce offices the opportunities for jobs so it's all about the synergy effect okay yeah. so that that's an excellent um point that you bring up and that's something that you really couldn't see if if you were just using your traditional channels um as far as you know marketing and such you can't have that that uh, really close synergy with other companies um, so what about like I know you guys talked about um, you know the synergies and, and everything so I really think I, I like the the whole point about um, white labeling essentially right so that's what you'll you'll be offering to the businesses right to the b2b side I, I can tell you a little bit more about that okay so not uh, clear white label, you know. It's uh, something like uh, uh, it's a mixed. So okay. it's I mean that uh, I can give you the case. So okay. we have one partner, uh, and they are a big uh, gambling service. So they have a lot of uh, internet casinos, poker rooms, like that, and they want to build uh, Las Vegas using our platform. Mm -hmm. How they can do that they will create their own district uh, now we have you know if, if you ch uh, check before our demo we have uh, office districts in the demo yes shopping communities and uh, residential and even right. yeah but it's not all it's not all it's just an example uh, just some cases what you can do with okay. just all the opportunities on the platform so they want they want to create their own district with their own design there, so it will be looks like like Las Vegas or Macau or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so the idea is that this uh, district will be ruled by them and they will have their own uh, rules there and they will be like a landlord. So they will build buildings in the blockchain. It will be written that uh, these buildings are a property of this company and uh, they can sell also these buildings to other gambling services and of course, they will launch their own poker rooms, casinos, you know, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the white label, but uh, they still need our uh, transaction. Our services, yes. Yeah, transaction engine. So trans trans transactions are connected with, uh, with us, but uh, they are almost not limited what to do, you know? And in general, uh, they still need our uh, blockchain. And if we talk about this blockchain in our project, uh, first of all, uh, it needs for uh, for put the record somewhere uh, of your ownership right. uh, of virtual reality, because you already spend the money for buying your virtual units. You already uh, purchase some uh, virtual content, mm -hmm. and it should be record somewhere. And for that, we're using the blockchain, first of all. The second way is transactions. And the third is the, the centralized storage of the data, because all these renders need to be stored somewhere. And uh, uh, the centralized rendering. Because mm -hmm. um, if you want to create the uh, office of your dreams or shop of your dreams, uh, you better use professional tools like uh, 3D Max or etc. Mm -hmm. uh, but not only, uh, I, I mean, it's, it can be a freelancer. Uh, uh, so you can order, uh, make this, you can order design from him and he make it to you. And to put it on the render, he uses, he's still using our platform. To make it faster, to make it cheaper. Yeah, we provide a special uh, client for the miners who has GPU farms. They download our uh, 
our uh, client and they can participate in decentralized rendering. So they will receive, uh, they will receive uh, orders from our uh, clients who need special render and uh, they will earn tokens. So it's like, uh, you know, it's an alternative to mine the coins, mine Ethereum or Zcash. Because it's straight work. You, you yeah. just get the file, you render it and send, send it back and you already paid with coins. Uh, that's just you don't need work. to find the special farms or something like that. It will be very and, fast. And, and, it's a, and it's absolutely transparent. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know what this work you do. And so so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a web developer, right? So I could come into your virtual reality space, set up a like a storefront and and have people come in and and look at my portfolio but from a virtual reality standpoint right yeah you even can put uh your smart contract uh there nice and at the time when you free uh, then they can pay to you and uh so also so would they pay me in in the mkt token or how would that go uh, in MRK token. Yeah, okay. you know, the idea is that MRK is our internal currency. So okay. it's the blood of the project. Yeah, and all so transactions, all what's happening inside uh, is written on our own blockchain. We're not going to use uh, Ethereum uh, uh, in internal uh, movement of the project because uh, we believe that it's too slow. In, yes, then you absolutely. Then you're trying to merge together crypto economy and the real economy. It should be fast. The yes, yes. That's, that's an excellent point. And I'm glad you guys brought that up because um, yeah. that is one of my concerns with many of these ICOs that are coming out today is that they're looking to build their infrastructure on top of the Ethereum blockchain. And, and personally, I, I feel like there it just isn't the bandwidth for some of the type of instructions or transactions that they need to be able to do within their platform as you scale up let's say you have a thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand or a million users it's, it's i don't see the scalability on the ethereum blockchain so that's great that you guys are using your yeah, so right. yeah so and one more point here is that uh we don't want to uh you know concentrate just in the crypto audience who has the right. area go to exchange buy our tokens or something like that we also uh, will provide the fiat uh, payments so the inside of the platform uh, if you pay by credit card by visa or mastercard uh, uh, your fiat will be uh, converted to our mrk token but if you don't know what is it so you, you really don't care about that and you don't know about that so it is in, inside of the platform, but you go to the Dolce Gabbana, want to buy shoes, you pay by credit card, and so it's, it's converted to our MRK token, and so you don't oh, know nice. I'm, So I've got the, the viewers are now looking at uh, the 3D demo of, of the um, Mark Space area, and you know, this is very, very neat, and I think this is going to definitely be the wave of the future. Uh, you know, just immersing the individual, the end user into the reality, the virtual reality here. So we're just kind of going through, walking down the uh, the aisle here. And, and this is really, really great, guys, what you guys are coming up with. So, um, you know, viewers, let me know your feedback on this this company, their VR and, and augmented reality. Uh, platform it looks really really great I, I do have one other question actually a couple more but one in particular so your competitors like who in your space are you directly competing against and really tell us and, and convince us in a way why you are better than any of the other uh, companies in this space we see two strong competitors uh, right now. Uh, first of them is the Central Land, and the second yeah. of them is Sansar, the project of Second Life. Next, next project of Second Life. Yeah, I used to play on Second Life a lot. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and uh, the difference between us that uh, first of all we're trying to provide uh, service which uh, is. Uh, 
which is multi-platform service. Uh, so you can reach it uh, with your phone, uh, with your uh, tablet, or with your PC. Uh, so without any uh, VR glasses, uh, first of all. And the, the second part is uh, we, try, uh, we want to make it so real. Look at our renders. We, we're trying to make it much simpler to involve a huge audience in it. We're trying to make it much, uh, much, much more resemble uh, real life than a computer game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, it's a pity that now you don't see uh, avatars inside our platform. So it's empty streets, empty spaces. But a little bit later, we will launch our avatar uh, model, and uh, you will see how our avatars look like. So it's like real. I mean, they look like real people. And uh, now we're working about that uh, to implement that. Avatars. Yeah, yeah uh, we're, we're, we're currently, guys, we're, the viewers are looking at the car space area. So looking at this Shelby GT500, like, it looks like. Click on the blue car if you are there. Yeah, just click on it. Oh, it starts up. Yeah, it starts there. Uh, yeah, if you see <laughs> seen this uh, video, uh, video screens, you... You'll we be... can click everywhere in spaces and yeah. get nice. more from it. Nice. Uh, the, the, main, uh, the main difference between uh, us and competitors is that we, we uh, bring real brands in it. We uh, bring real uh, physical goods, physical services in the platform. So we, mm -hmm. we really merge together crypto economy with the real economy. It's our general idea to provide an opportunity to, for everybody buying for crypto real goods without any loses on, uh, on conversations and for uh, people who are not involved in crypto be a part of the community to uh, start learning about blockchain, about crypto and receive all advantages what crypto economy gives you. So for example about the cars, uh, in the last week uh, I think we can tell that we have a new partner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> The uh, Jaguar Land Rover company, they will open their showrooms, they sell some awesome. Awesome. So we'll a little bit later when we finish all uh, little things. Oh, that's great, guys. That's great. Okay. And, you know, uh, I do, I do want to point out to the viewers really quickly, sorry to cut you off. Um, you guys haven't, you've been working on this for a, a while. I know the roadmap um, for sure in 2015 is when you guys really um, brought the concept to to life and uh, it looks like you guys are really using your time very efficiently and making progress and so it's great to see that you have actual real world uh, partnerships lined up or actually done and that's a definitely um, a plus for from an investor standpoint uh, uh, the main idea of the business now is trying to uh, trying to save the money Mm -hmm. Because uh, everybody thinking how they can uh, not rent expensive offices, not rent expensive showrooms. And the, the main idea is how to shorter that time uh, which uh, usual customers spend on the roads to that office and then back. So if you, if you can uh, make a first impression with the VR, and, uh, and uh, show everything you got, uh, your beautiful office, your employees, uh, your product within the platform without any need to go uh, down the, uh, on the street to take a car and <laughs> stuck in the traffic. That's awesome. Yeah, because instruments that our platform provides, they're so wide. I mean, for example, if you visit uh, okay, the shop of high-level luxury brand, for example, on the on the platform on the demo there is Laura Piana, but really we have much more. Uh, it's just one case, and uh, you visit uh, this shop, and uh, you know the bill, equal bill, uh, is rather high in such shops. And mm -hmm. uh, brands they can make a special service, individual service for their clients. I mean that uh, their customers can be served. Uh, individually, the, uh, you can talk to sales manager di directly, and uh, the sales manager can uh, do uh, things. Uh, uh, he can fill all forms of uh, yeah. delivery, and he can uh, 
help you to pick the right size of your yeah. products yeah. Yeah, to merge with yourself. And if you visit an office or some company, uh, so you, you 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 click on the avatar of the manager and you start a conversation. Okay, and you can nice. choose by, or by chat. Uh, you can fill the forms. You know, you can exchange documents. Uh, so and also. Uh, for, for example, now we are discussing with uh, in the negotiation with some one man. They they need the uh, they need special KYC services, and mm -hmm. they, uh, these services are provided for from another company who makes this uh, service. Mm -hmm. And they ask us if it's possible to implement their model to their virtual office. Of, uh, of course, yes, because it's HTML5, and you can uh, put this code there, and uh, so. It's open and like that. Oh, that's awesome. We're actually viewing right now, guys. We're inside of the Casa Dia. Oh, think. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in here looking at high heels. I mean, I wouldn't be wearing them, but I could <laughs> I could purchase <laughs> some for my wife or something. This is yeah. really great, guys. A little bit later, she, can, she, she will have an opportunity to create her avatar okay. and try on these high heel shoes with some dress, you know. Nice. Of, you can choose different brands and uh, create uh, your own look and mix all clothes together to see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this jacket with these trousers. We have all big experience skirt. in fashion e-commerce in the virtual fitting rooms. So we have some models. We have uh, uh, almost ready these things, but we need some time. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is this is this is kind of you guys are at the cutting edge. So we understand that this is new territory new frontier and uh we're really excited and really excited to see mark space uh doing this uh let's talk a little bit about the ico i mean we talked a, a lot about the actual company and you guys which is good we do you know but uh, let's talk about the ico so you guys got a pre-ico coming up in about a, a day or so correct yeah yeah uh, you know, one more thing that we spent now th more than three years you know, developing of this platform and mm -hmm. uh, our investment of our company in this platform is about $5 million, a little bit more. Uh, and uh, yes, RCO for us is, is uh, a chance uh, to attract some more investments, of course, because we have a lot of ideas, a lot of things to do. You can check in the roadmap. But also, we want uh, to uh, share this technology with the world because uh, such platform uh, we, we don't have competitors in the realization of. Uh, of you, you understand me what I mean? So yeah. such yeah. technology, in the yeah. way of technology. Yes. Right. Right. And we want to share uh, because we are sure that if uh, uh, crypto society uh, they will be grateful. If they will understand that uh, we're not greedy, mm -hmm. okay, we spent more than three years, five million dollars, but we're ready to share, and uh, so we are we are looking for extra investment. We are looking for extra uh, high skilled people for our team because there is a lot of things to do, you know. And we're sure that crypto community is rather high skilled, so there are a lot of smart people there, and we want to show our platform our ideas also so, so the the ico is the pre-ico starts tomorrow and how long will that run uh it uh, it uh last two weeks okay and after, uh, and after that on 21st uh, november we start our ico and last month okay excellent yeah. excellent and, and what what is the uh supply of the tokens and are they are, are there like some that'll be locked up or we can kind of go over that supply yeah we, we should to tell about funds so total supply is three billion three billion M mrk tokens mm -hmm. the price uh without any discounts is uh 10 us the cents mm -hmm. uh, and uh we have uh some funds so one fund big fund is for sale, uh, which we sell in pre ICO. Mm -hmm. ICO. So this is Skype call. Sorry. No problem. No problem. And, uh, another fund is a minus rendering fund, big fund. 
uh, this fund is used to, to pay miners for their uh, for their uh, useful uh, work, you know, okay. uh, rendering. And uh, so, uh, and another fund is a cross sale liquidity fund. I mean, you remember I told you if you pay in fiat, mm -hmm. uh, car, uh, in, by uh, credit card, uh, so we uh, convert to the token and pay to the uh, company uh, with token or again convert to the fiat if the company choose to receive money in fiat. Uh, so this is extra fund. We don't use it. Uh, we don't, uh, you know, yeah, we, we don't. It use says it. reserves. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. big miners fund and uh, and uh, cross sale fund is oh. almost for support of transactions. Yeah, it's for supporting all transactions. So it's more than 45, uh, it's uh, about 45% of uh, all the supply. And uh, so about what more we need? Uh, yeah, any any exchanges uh, you guys are partnering with or not at the moment? Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of exchanges now in the, in the negotiation process because they're uh, to be honest, they are uh, they are very interested in our token because they understand that uh, it's uh, pure utility. First yeah, of all, it's pure utility. It's safe to train in that token. We we'll have good legal uh, scheme of the company mm -hmm. also because it's important for exchanges. And uh, also, uh, uh, the idea is that we don't want to sell our tokens in uh, four or five exchanges. I think it will be one or two because we want we don't want to uh, uh, share, you know, a, a, a volume of uh, tokens in different exchanges. Right. We want to, to keep a big amount to make it more liquidity. And mm -hmm. so, um, uh, volatility. 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 <laughs> volatility. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent, but, guys. Uh, uh, but the name of the exchange will be later. Okay, no problem. Sounds good. That's that's good to know. Um, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. I, I really appreciate Oleg and Dennis from Market or Mark Space. I'm sorry, and uh, we we really enjoy. I I enjoyed the uh, the conversation, <clears throat> and you know, I think again, this is a very. You guys are at the cutting edge, and this is a space where we will definitely see most of our e-commerce. Uh, and business relations uh, head in you know in that direction. So I'm glad to see you guys are at the forefront of that. Thank you. Can yeah. I thanks. can I add one more extra bonus? Extra, uh, absolutely. Let's do it. You know, one more difference uh, uh, about the ICO process of our ICO that when you participate in our token sale. You receive, uh, of course, you receive tokens. It depends on the stage. On free, I saw a big discount. I okay. Saw it. But also, uh, all our participants, they can also receive bonus units, virtual spaces. So uh, it will be in the, in the spring of 2018, in the April. And uh, uh, we will check. Uh, you can... Uh, Fill the form in the April, and if you have uh, some tokens, um, uh, it depends uh, on the amount of tokens on the wallet. Mm -hmm. We will give you uh, your bonus spaces. So there is two things. Okay, it, it is uh, extra bonus for investors. Also, it is a factor why it's better to keep uh, or rebuy it. You know, in March maybe uh, to receive extra spaces. So gotcha. Yeah, we're looking at the roadmap roadmap now, and I see what you're talking about as far as the virtual estate unit sale. Yeah, on the website, uh, there is written uh, how many tokens you need uh, to receive bonuses. Yeah, at that time, you have ability to uh, choose the place where you want to be. Yeah, it's, and it's about strategy for investors. So, you can, of course, you can buy now and sell just in, in the first days in uh, exchange. You can. But also you can keep something, and uh, we are expecting the second wave uh, of interest to our token, the big, big wave uh, in March. Okay. Uh, so this is the idea. So there's a lot of ways how to how to speculate for right. for investors, you know. Right. But we hope that uh, 
uh, more and more will understand that uh, if you keep our token, you receive uh, space, and after you can use it in a lot of things, and will go. And we uh, and with every launch of district, uh, the demand of tokens uh, will, will be grow. Yeah, right. right. Because, yeah, more and more, more and more, uh, you can do with your token. Will during the roadmap we can check. Excellent, guys. Well, again, thank you for your time, and we will definitely have you guys back on to uh, give us an update sometime next year, early next year, when you guys are in full swing. Before I end, this is a Crypto Blood um, tradition. I usually ask my interviewers uh, three different questions. Not really questions, but I give you three words, and all I need is a one-word response back. You guys ready? One word. Okay. One word. Try to keep it to one word. If you <laughs> yeah. we'll try to keep it to one word so first word is segwit 2x huh? segwit 2x uh i think it's cool cool all right uh best vodka uh vodka yeah vodka. organica okay all right <laughs> and the last one is maria sharpova sharpova Hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, guys. I appreciate the time, and I will see you in the future. Yeah, thanks yeah. a lot. Peace. Yeah. Always welcome. Bye. Thank you.